Hi, this is Chris from Trench Physics. Today I'm going to show you how to make liquid filled adjustable focus lenses uh, using 3D printed parts. We're going to start with our 3D printed parts. You're going to need uh, two of each, a male and female part. We're also going to need the clamps for that. Uh, these fit over the edge and snap on. I'll show you that soon. We're going to use a JB Weld or Weld It to connect the two uh, lens holders, okay? Clamps for holding together the lens while we're uh, pressure fitting everything. We're going to pressure fit the two uh, lens holders with a big clamp. We're going to use heat shrink tubing to uh, be our pipe for the syringe. Our syringe is, you know, standard uh, 10 ml syringe. I modified the tip for that so that it connects to our uh, heat shrink tubing. This is just crazy glued into place. Let's start with our 3D printed uh, parts that hold each uh, single piece of cellophane into place. Have cut a square of cellophane, put this in between, and we're going to clamp this together. You'll see it's a bit wrinkly here. Uh, we're going to get rid of those wrinkles by actually clamping this. Use your big clamp to pressure fit these things together. This takes a while and it's really kind of tricky. So use all of your strength to force these things together and it will get rid of all the wrinkles. After you go around and clamp it, you're going to get it really smooth. Uh, this is an earlier prototype, it didn't really work very well. Uh, so I moved this hex pattern and you're going to get it very smooth and shiny. When you have it clamped, you're going to do this twice. So you have a single piece of cellophane in two of these holders. We're going to mate these together um, with the trench side on the inside. So the two trenches are going to have to fill into each other. For this, you may need a drill that's slightly larger than the size of your heat shrink tubing. Mine just happened to be two millimeters. We're going to mate the two inside surfaces using uh, welded and we're going to have the tip of our heat shrink tubing just sticking on the inside. So there's going to be a gap between the two uh, layers of cellophane. Just want a small bead in here, you don't need a lot. Really we want zero gap between these two parts and be careful not to get it inside of your heat shrink tubing. Be careful to align these so that the indent is not pinching or squeezing your tubing at all. We're going to clamp this now and wait for our glue to dry and give us a good seal. Let's come back in a few minutes and see uh, how the glue is dried. This has been a few minutes and now the glue is dried. So we're going to apply these little clamps, one for each side. Let's start filling this guy with water and see if we can get lens out of it. water, connect the adapter. When you fill it with water, it's going to bow out the sides and you're going to have a lens. So it's pretty clean, pretty clear.
you can see it's magnifying very well. Uh, if you're having problem with leaking, like I am, put some of this stuff uh, in between the two mating parts when you're making these discs, and that should get rid of all the leaks for you. So, uh, who's going to make a telescope next? I'm going to go outside and burn stuff now. This is Chris from Trench Physics, and thank you for watching.